Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do a quick update for you guys. Um, I just want to show this uh, amazing purchase I bought. So on eBay, I recently won um, four of these Walther's um, Santa Fe chair cars. And these are to the prototype. They're not the Pullman uh, just kind of random ones. These are specifically for Santa Fe. And they're the Santa Fe two-tone gray chair car. And this is the 3060 to 3069 uh, type. Santa Fe also had other, um, you know, lines like 3050 to 3059 class. This is a more modern class for that, as you can see. And um, yeah, these are the um, specific to Santa Fe prototypes. The, um, the like, you know, non-prototype kind has like the paired window design. This is specifically Santa Fe. As you can see, there's a large windows. And they also have the uh, famous Santa Fe um, iconic kind of like, you know, feature, which is the steam ejector. Um, the steam injector things i don't know what they're exactly called but they're for the ac and um yeah so four of these usually they go for about um usually around like i don't know like uh at least 50 usually up to like i've seen them sell for like 120 per car um and you know like for example right here if you see like this one this one sold for 87 dollars and um the ones that are uh pullman green and black roofs are worth more than uh, these two-tone gray ones, mostly because Santa Fe didn't have many of these two-tone gray ones. Uh, they painted certain heavyweights, uh, two-tone gray, the two different gray types, um, for their scout train. And so, basically, the only time you'd ever see, like, this kind of car, the chair cars in the two-tone gray, was on their scout train. Which, unfortunately, it's, I mean, it's only one out of, like, I don't know, like, 20 of their passenger trains. So, yeah, they weren't that common. Um... But that being said, they did use it like a you you occasionally like see one in one of these painted uh cars in like their other trains as like a substitute. And so I have four of these, and uh, I'm not modeling the scout train unfortunately. So I do plan on selling two of them. Um. So yeah. But anyways, yeah. The reason why the the, the fact that they're painted this color means that they're worth less. Usually they're worth these usually sell for about sixty to seventy bucks um per and um here's the thing i got all four for 112 dollars that's insane so hopefully i can make some money back by selling two of them and i'll keep two of them but um yeah i just want to quickly show you guys this and this did come with the figures inside um someone the original owner added these uh figures i think it's around like 10 figures or 10 to 15 figures per car and it's pretty awesome as you see on this side there's a little conductor um inside there but uh, yeah, I just want to show you the details for these. Now, they do come with detail packs, so you can add, like, all the little hatches. Actually, every single one of these little dots has a hatch. It's supposed to have a hatch. So um, they do come with a detail pack, so I can um, add them. But I'm not going to do that for now, because they take a lot of time. Uh, those little uncoupling levers that, that I can add. Um, I do usually do them for most of my cars, actually. I usually spend, like, three hours per car to do them. But, um, you know, I, I still don't know exactly which two I'm going to sell out of these, so I'm not going to do that for now. But... Uh, I will do definitely do it in the future. I'll also definitely add lights in the future. But for now, as I said, I usually do that for other cars. But this, these cars, I'm going to hold it off for just a bit. But yeah, there's a lot of detail. Um, the back, the under underframe is a little sparse. But I mean, it, you don't really see it. So it doesn't really matter. Um, there's the special trucks and the special, um, what do they call it? Just like the, the banks or whatever these, these, ba these boxes are. I think they're battery boxes. I'm not really sure though. Uh, yeah, the Santa Fe kinds have like these stripes on them, which is weird. But interesting they also have a generator on the bottom um the interior as you can see is full with the people as i said um the chairs are molded in um, a red plastic and uh yeah oh yeah overall they're very detailed as you can see here's the uh the pipe the 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 the, the what is it called the air conditioning duct you'll see it's on this side but uh not on this side and uh yeah i think these are amazing cars and um very hard to find actually so fact i got four of them for 112 now so far i have had to um do a little modification like I, I removed the roofs uh by doing the twist method which is twisting it like this way and it is scary the first time you do it but i've done it for a long time now so it's uh i'm, I'm pretty used to it but yeah I, I removed the roofs off and uh, they actually came really dusty and it was like almost a gray color because so much dust was on it and i uh washed it under water with um some uh, dish soap and uh yeah now they look almost like basically brand new now, there's one car here that has a little few splotches. I um, don't know if you can see that. Here you go. Some splotches here, some up here, which is unfortunate. Um, but, that's, I mean, that's fine. I paid so little for these. I mean, 112 is what? I paid 112 for all four. So each of them, I paid, pretty much paid like like 30 bucks. 
um, well, less than 30 bucks, but then if you include shipping and tax, probably roughly 30 bucks per car, um, which is still insane. So yeah, I, I definitely plan to sell two of these and I'll pretty much make my money back just through that. <laughs> and um, yeah, anyways, uh, hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you guys next time.